Well, I am a chemist team. I work at Embrap Instrumentation, one of the four two research centers at of uh, Brazilian Agriculture Research Corporation, Embrapa. I will, this presentation is not only by myself, Renato Marmo. It's my colleague. We work together in terms of rural sanitation. And uh, I will try to explain to you, all of you, the ideas of uh, our work and uh, uh, how the things are running right now. Well, the sewage wastewater treatment in the rural area, that's the idea, me and Renato. Uh, so I'm a chemist, a doctor in environmental chemistry and uh, soil and water chemistry. And uh, Carlos Renato Marmo, we call as Renato Marmo, he's a civil engineer and in sanitation also. So it's a good team. And also the, the students, is where is Paula is there, our student. Thank you for coming. Uh, just for starting the, the ideas about Embrap, Embrap is a big network in terms of uh, agricultural research in Brazil. Uh, as I told you, it has uh, 42, for, uh, it's not 46 anymore, 42 research centers in all the country. The headquarters is in Brasilia, uh, Brasilia City, the capital. And uh, the idea is to develop the agriculture and the cattle production in all parts of the country. Uh, about the, about is my representation that it's one of the 42 research centers. It is here in São Carlos City. Uh, we work with, uh, it's, it's quite different in general uh, at Embrapa, the, the, the people th uh, think that uh, uh, there is in majority the agronomists, veterinarians and so on, but uh, in, at Embrapa cementation it's uh, quite different. The majority of the researchers are physicists and engineers, natural scientists in general and engineers, and we have of course some agronomists in, in our team. Uh, the research areas, the main research areas in terms of uh, Embrapa instrumentation uh, are automation and precision agriculture, chemistry and technology of biomass, nanotechnology applied to agribusiness, instrumentation for post harvest, and uh, the part that uh, I highlight here, environment management and conservation of natural research, where uh, our work is inside. In terms of sanitation, starting about sanitation in Brazil, uh, the numbers are not very, very good. For water uh, source of resources, we have a good numbers, about 80% in general, nah, for the all population in Brazil. About 80% of the population is uh, attended by uh, water, treated water. When we discuss about uh, the sewage, it's a problem. Uh, only about 52% of the population is uh, have uh, uh, sanitation in terms of the um, um, uh, pipe, pipe, uh, pipeline sewage. Uh, and uh, from this, only 44, 45% is treated. So we have a lot of things to, to, to run still. Uh, about uh, the situation, when we discuss about the rural area, the numbers are quite uh, uh, different, uh, bad, I can say. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, municipal, when we discuss about adequate or inadequate uh, systems, about 28, 28%, 29% is attended, but uh, direct disposal to, into superficial waters, rudimentary sinks, and uh, nothing, absolutely nothing, uh, are still the majority, according to the national uh, IBGE. It's an uh, institution devoted to the democracy. Um, uh, democracy, not... Uh, um, stat statistics in general for Brazil. Demographics, now is that. Uh, about consumer, the consumer of water in Brazil, uh, when, when we see irrigation and the cattle uh, uh, inputs, uh, the use of water in Brazil is around 80%. Uh, for the uh, human uses, you, if you uh, can the sum of the 
the two uh, urban and the rural, we have about 10%. So the, 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 when, when we discuss about the use of water in the agriculture, uh, any, any drop that we can save, it's very important because it represents a lot of the water consumption here in Brazil. Uh, about the, our, our works in, in general terms, we want to work with simple, efficient technologies. We are discussing about the rural areas, so uh, the technology have to be simple to, to be and, uh, simple in terms of conception and in terms of maintenance. So, uh, of course, there are a lot of technologies more efficient than septic tank biodigest and so on. But uh, the idea is to work with simple technologies and link to, the, to, to that the, the idea of the safe reuse. That's so the simplicity is linked to the reuse of uh, the water. Uh, also, we discuss about the technologies uh, with low inputs. So we, we, uh, the, our idea is to promote the inputs in, inside the farm. Uh, biological systems. Uh, we discuss very, very long about the harmonization of treatment systems for uh, rural, environmental, and routine aspects. It's a very important in terms of the break of paradigm because, uh, in general, the people say that oh, uh, wastewater treatment it has always bad smells, rats, uh, flies, and so on. So we can, we can uh, it's something terrible to see. And it can show that the population that is possible to, to make a good treatment and uh, harmonization uh, with the characteristics of the rural area. Uh, easy appropriation by the farm is very important. Affordable, affordable building and maintenance costs and the development, development of convincing uh, and management models. It's very important also we are working with and, and I will discuss a little, little words about. Uh, in terms of uh, our philosophy, we, s we make the separation between the uh, gray water and the black water. So the, the black water uh, is treated by a uh, septic tank biodigester. It's a, it's a small biodigester, small anaerobic reactor. And the gray water is treated by a wetland that we call as garden filtering. I, I will explain more details now. Uh, about the septic tank biodigester, they are uh, water, ta water tanks with uh, 1,000 liters each. Uh, and uh, the uh, black water goes to the first, fir uh, they are cereal reactors. Uh, so the fermentation that the water uh, reaches here and uh, promotes the fermentation. After that, fermentation the second the, uh, tank. And uh, when the, the water reaches the, the third tank, it's treated by the anaerobic fermentation. Uh, we make the calculus that the uh, CO, the liquid inside the system in the fermentation chambers uh, may stay here at least 20 days. So it's a very good, and uh, after that, the liquid that it uh, reaches here, we use that uh, in a fertile irrigation process. That's some um, pictures about uh, the septic tank biodigester. Uh, you can see the material is very easy to find. It's not complicated to install. Uh, the convincement is very important. And in the, in the end, the, the, the system, uh, installed the system, it's like that. Uh, some parameters, the remotion of BDO uh, BOD, it's uh, about 60% uh, or uh, at least 60%. Uh, reduction of coliform is about 10 to uh, times of uh, uh, power. Uh, repro uh, re nitrogen removal is not very good. Bad, no, uh, it's not, it, it has no bad smell. The, 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 the system and the water, they treat the water. And no mice, no scorpions, no flies, no cockroaches, and so on. That's the characteristic of the... Uh, material that uh, in the entry of the system and the, the exit, it's, uh, it has a color, a brown, yellow-brown color due to the organic matter inside. 
dissolved organic matter, the turbidity is very low, so it's uh, dissolved organic matter. It's very good in terms of uh, fertility in general. Brazil has no uh, regulation about uh, the reuse of wastewater uh, from sewage uh, into uh, agriculture production. So uh, we use some, uh, some material from the WHO, no, or, or World Health Organization, and some, uh, some aspects of the EPA. Uh, it's, a, it's a very important point that we here in Brazil we are discussing about, but we have to improve the, the, the research in, inside. Uh, about the general characteristics of effluent, uh, we use uh, the, the application of effluent uh, into the soil only. Uh, we don't use sprinklers, for, for instance. Uh, there is a coffee tree, there is, uh, which was fertilized by the septic tank biodigester effluent. It's a very good uh, in terms of fertilization. It has nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, my, uh, micronutrients, and so on. It's very good in water, organic matter, and so on. It's good. Uh, but uh, uh, we made some complementation of phosphorus and potassium, but if you can see here, the, the it's a very poor soil in terms of natural fertility. Uh, this coffee tree has the same age of this one, uh, and uh, you can see the difference of the, the, side, the, the, the size of the, the tree. It's very, very impressive, but it's, uh, I, it, I, I see that uh, uh, it's very routine for me to see that. For a majority of people say, oh, it's amazing, but uh, it, that's happened, really. Uh, 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 two uh, bananas trees. So uh, I think that uh, it's very easy to you to, to remark the difference between the, 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 the plant that they are using the effluent and the not. So it's good, it's very far, very easy to, to appremorate, to see that's uh, um, uh, uh, corn. It's, uh, 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 we, we are using a corn as a plant for, in, uh, in our studies now, in terms of uh, reuse. Uh, it's very, very easy to remark the difference between the biomass production when we compare one another. Okay, fantastic. But, uh, okay, there, there are some questions about the production that we are still open. Uh, in terms of water nutrients, uh, okay, it's water nutrient source, it's okay, we know, it's, it's easy to understand. But the improvement of the fertility and the bicatayum exchange capacity of soil is a very important uh, parameter for the soil fertility. Uh, we just we are uh, understand a little bit. We increase the organic matter in or tropical soils. It's or the, the soil organic matter is very important in terms of fertility. So when are using by any way uh, the quantity of the organic matter into the soil the increases. Uh, we, we are still understand that. Is, uh, there are buffer effects. It's good. Uh, in general, tropical soils are acidic soils. So when they discuss about the buffer effects and the uh, semi neutralization, partial ne neutralization of the acidity is very good also. We are discussing about safety. It's very important. Microbial effects and the physiological effect, uh, effect that the plant, some plants reach after the application of the fertilizer, probably by the organic matter, dissolved organic matter inside the liquid. Uh, so there are a lot of research in terms in terms of that. We are working with um, uh, our experimental area for the corn production there. And uh, in this case, we are using several treatments. In EPK, it's a commercial, in it nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizer. EPK, it's all nitrogen come from the effluent, the treated effluent, and we complement that with phosphorus and potassium. Only phosphorus and potassium, uh, there is another inside, only effluent. So, the, some images about it. Uh, no, uh, no effluent application, only water and the uh, effluent application. So we can see EPK effluent and NPK has the productivity in terms of biomass equivalent. When, when we discuss about uh, the corn production, it's quite a, a little bit different still uh, yet, but uh, uh, so we can see the, the size of the, the corn with the NPK and the EPK, they are statistically equal. 
uh, and uh, we can really remark that the, f the, the nutrients inside is, uh, are present in the treated effluent. It's very, very important. And it's several times we use very, very large energy to, to eliminate nitrogen from the treated effluent in the sewage. Uh, and it's, uh, it's much, much better to reuse that, recycle that into the agriculture. Another technology that we are working, it's a uh, constructed wetland for the gray water. Uh, we call it uh, Jardim Filtrante. It's uh, the, tra the free translation is filtering garden. Uh, it's a very good way, easy to understand for the adopter. Uh, it's also biological, biological SIPs, low maintenance, low cost, and uh, they cost about uh, 3,000 reais. That's the idea, a solid uh, tank. Uh, no? the after that, uh, um, oil no? uh, retention uh, tank. And after that, uh, we go to, to the wetland. Uh, it's a gravel uh, uh, on the side, the uh, sand and the plants. It's very, very easy. It runs very, very well in terms of the uh, treatment for sewage water, in terms of the gray water. It's one of the system Instead, you will see that at the, uh, in a smallholder family, a uh, farmer uh, in Thursday, I, th I mean, yes, Thursday, uh, some characteristics of the water treatment inside, outside. The, it's a very good system for turbidity elimination. It's not a fantastic system for the, uh, uh, um, for, um, uh, e. coli removal, but uh, it runs very well, it's good, and so we, we analyze very well this water, and it's good for general use uh, um, for the, uh, and the irrigation also. But uh, I would like to discuss a little bit about that also, when we are discussing about social technologies in the farm, when we are going to the, to the farm, uh, the, our first uh, idea, oh, okay, I have a very good solution for them. So they will uh, reach me with a red carpet. But uh, in general, it's not a cure. In general, we have a uh, mistrust. Uh, so we have to break that. Uh, and to break that, we have to use several uh, good material in terms of uh, language in terms of information for the, for the people. Uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, several kinds. Well, of course, we have technical uh, texts, uh, scientific texts, of course, but uh, uh, I discussed with you about uh, popular language bullets to, to the people uh, see about you know, and know about. And also convincing leaders, it's very, very important to enter in, into the community education of young t people, mainly for, uh, in terms of sanitation and environmental education, it's very important. The, the group of um, Iniciativa Verde, Green Initiative, is very, they, they know very well this work and the, it's very important the presence of them here. Uh, about the training of the people, the users, the new users, and the, the attendance. I have, I have a good question, about, a, a good is history about it. this woman. Uh, her name is Raimunda, uh, Dona Raimunda. Now, I, the, uh, they are translating. I, I prefer to speak that in Portuguese because uh, I, I can explain, uh, exp uh, explain that more clear, uh, with uh, more details. Uh, Dona Raimunda, ela, uh, ela do, do, do estado de Rondônia, uh, no norte do Brasil, e nós, foi, nós fizemos um projeto lá com a Fundação Cargill, e naquela época nós instalamos a, a, a Fossa Sépica de Gestora, e ela chegou assim para mim e falou assim, depois de instalado, né, funcionando, ela chegou para mim e falou assim, seu Wilson, olha... Eu estou muito contente com a fossa biodigestora de vocês. Ela é, né? Não dá cheiro, não tem rato, funciona direitinho, não me dá tanto trabalho. Nossa, funciona super bem. Estou feliz mesmo. Mas tem uma coisa. 
eu não vou colocar cocô de gente nas minhas plantinhas. Né? Não vou fazer isso. Aí é um preconceito, obviamente. Aí eu peguei e expliquei para a dona Raimunda, falei, ah, dona Raimunda, não é mais cocô. Isso é um líquido tratado, passou por um processo, tem características fertilizantes, eu, né, a gente já ensinou a vocês como usam. Aí ela chegou para mim e falou assim, ah, mas mesmo assim eu não estou muito contente com isso. Aí eu expliquei, a senhora não tem uma área que vai renovar, alguma planta que vai retirar? E aí ela chegou para mim e falou, olha, tem uns pés de graviola que nunca deram nada, que tem 4, 5 anos que eu plantei e nunca produziu nada. Então, o que, que eu fiz? Né? Eu falei, então, dona Raimunda, se a senhora vai arrancar esses pés, testa aqui por uns quatro, seis meses, e quando eu voltar, a gente volta a conversar. Depois de seis meses, eu voltei lá, e a dona Raimunda, me lembro até hoje disso, eu falo para todo mundo, me emociona muito, ela segurou pela minha mão, me pegou pela mão, falou, senhor Wilson, eu quero te mostrar uma coisa. E aí ela me levou lá nos pés de gravidade, opa, desculpa. E ela, aí nós chegamos lá no pés, nos pés de graviola dela, produzindo graviola. E ela ficou tão feliz que ela falou, nossa, esse negócio é bom mesmo, né? Eu não posso jogar fora. E a partir daí, ela começou a usar. E hoje, inclusive, ela tem um pequeno pomar fertilizado pela fossa biodigestora, onde ela produz uh, polpa de graviola e vende polpa, uh, polpa congelada. Virou renda né, a partir de um processo de tratamento de esgoto, onde a coisa só aconteceu porque a gente acompanhou depois. Então isso é que a gente fala que é a questão da apropriação e do conhecimento e do acompanhamento que a gente deve fazer. Uh, just to finish about the partnership is very very important in terms of the social technologies in general. When we are discussing about the partnership, we are discussing about the public, private, third sector, anyone. Okay, it's very uh, universities. We have to improve our uh, network. It's very, very important. And in terms of the, the, the professional the, 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 that they are working with, in general, who works with uh, 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 sanitation in general, are engineers. So we can change that and put more and more uh, social professionals, social uh, uh, anthropologists, and so on to understand a little bit more the cultural aspects of the community. Of course, nothing, we, we can work, 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 if there are no politics after that. So to, to, to build new policies uh, are part of our job also. So we discuss with the municipalities, we discuss with the uh, general government and so on. That's, that's one of uh, the big part of our job. And uh, because of that, we have uh, more than 20, oh, this number is not uh, quite real now. Uh, we have more than two, two, uh, 12,000 uh, septic tanks, biogeo septic tank installed in Brazil. Uh, I have two thanks to our f uh, founders, the Fundação Banco do Brasil, uh, BNDES, the Brazilian um, Development uh, Bank, It's a, it's a bank, and Embrapa that uh, can found some researchers. Uh, some uh, acknowledgement also for the people. Paula, thank you very much né, for, for our job. Uh, this is Flavio Marquezine, he's a farmer. You will know this system installed uh, at the um, uh, São João Farmer uh, on Thursday. It's a system for the uh, tank fishing production, and for it's a system for uh, based on the um, uh, wetland. Based, uh, it's a kind of wetland for treatment and the reuse of water into the the, the fishing production. And that's it. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I'm here for questions. Thank you.